creating music from all of your silence and earthquakes from all of your stillness, I've started talking to myself. More to reaffirm sound and sense in sound than anything else, I am transformed. Under salty brine, I am the tooth of an ancient whale smeared with purple juice of blueberries to make me a lilac whale's tooth. I have been bestowed powers and traded between the most prestigious chuck tins and ambitious men only to be lost, tragically, in the woods and found by a small girl wander wandering the forest without aims or cares or purpose who sticks me in her mouth immediately. I am losing my lilac hue by the power of my blueberry juice and ancient toothery stop. Your incessant sucking, I command you. She didn't speak the language of whale tooth. She was quite illiterate. My blueberry infusion was near unfused. Her lips and tongue were purple bruised from sucking out someone else's color. But I was almost cleaned, almost stripped like a tease uncovered, almost. Her hands trembled and gripped my middle, hovered over her own heart, and slipped me in behind one lung, pushing me in line with the aorta, pumping a rhythm, shaky but unfailing. I was vibrating with the beats from within me, not an echo or a harmony. No, the beats filled and pulsed through my long, abandoned root canal, filled me like self-generated electricity. By Job, by East African currents, by Lazarus, by Getafix, by these things, this girl is me. Sucking and plucking heartbeats from the not so by that whale truth. Where have all my powers gone? I know where they once were, woven from one to another, passed like a baton around a rat, track and field goals out to sea, brought by the breeze, carried laboriously like pollen on the backs of bees' knees to somewhere lost and found by yours truly. Now what? In the seasons of heartbeats and feet itching under me, the lilacs no longer stain my surface. I am new. Almost.